the sins of the father, William II, who had asked Mazarin for troops to crush Holland and besieged Amsterdam, were visited upon the son, William III, who was excluded from office by an addendum to the Treaty of Westminster, that ended the First Anglo-Dutch War, which was the first economic war caused by superior Dutch commerce crippling England. One of the departing ambassadors said, The English are about to attack a mountain of gold, we are about to attack a mountain of iron. In 1660 the English Commonwealth is dissolved and the act of seclusion with it. The unprincipled womaniser had a disarming charm and wit. When confronted by an insolent Quaker, Charles said, Court etiquette demands one of us remove our hat. Mazarin dies in 1661 and 21-year-old Louis XIV takes the reins. He sets the benchmark for absolutism until his death in 1715. In 1667 the Perpetual Edict decrees no individual can be both Stadtholder and Captain General. In 1670, the secret treaty of Dover is signed. Louis XIV and Charles II agree to divide the Dutch Republic. 1672 is the disaster year. England declare war in March and France invade in May. William had been appointed Captain General in February for the expected assault, but few preparations had been made by the oligarchs and the southern provinces surrendered to avoid destruction. William opens the dikes and defends the waterline. Louis XIV then halts to allow Orangists to come to terms. Envoys from England, Arlington and Buckingham, offered William a Dutch kingdom if he joined their cabal. 21-year-old William replied, he was obliged, in conscience and honour, not to prefer his interests before his obligations. William refuses to subdue riots until he is awarded emergency powers. In August, Johan de Witt resigns as Grand Pensionary, and a fortnight later, alongside his brother, he is lynched. William gets his emergency powers and the Orangists seize power. In 1673, the Dutch position stabilised and fear of France brought Brandenburg, Prussia, Emperor Leopold and Charles II of Spain into alliance. In 1674, Parliament forces Charles II to make peace. In 1677, William marries Mary, daughter of James. Charles dies in 1685 and James II makes three major mistakes. He dissolves Parliament has a son, and the acquittal of seven bishops lead to anti-Catholic riots showing James has lost control. The immortal seven invite William to become king. He arrives in Torbay with 436 ships, 14,000 troops, and a banner which reads Je m'entendre, the liberties of England and the Protestant faith. After his coronation, William asked the Burgomaster of Amsterdam what he thought of that comedy, these foolish old popish ceremonies. Louis XIV towers over Europe. He professionalised the army into the regimental system and doubled its size. William's life is spent in opposition to him, constructing grand alliances to oppose French domination of Europe. In 1689, the English army, purged of Jacobites, was small and ineffective. Supplemented by the Dutch, Danes and Huguenots, William defeated James II in Ireland. The Nine Years' War then moves to the Low Countries, with a professional English contingent rising to 43,000 by 1696. The Peace of Ryswick was a major victory for the Grand Alliance and a major setback for Louis XIV, but lasted only four years. When the Spanish invalid Charles II died, Louis installed his grandson and the European powers chose appeasement to avoid war. William negotiated the Second Partition Treaty with France in consultation with Betnick and the States General but left Parliament out of the loop. In revenge, they stopped funding his Dutch guard. William was enraged and contemplated abdication. Louis reneges on the treaty, 
occupies the Spanish Netherlands and declares James II's son the Old Pretender, King of England. William dispatched Marlborough to The Hague in September 1701. War is declared in May 1702. And in 1706 at Ramillier, France is routed. From the War of the Spanish Succession, Britain emerges as a world power. William doesn't live to see it. A chronic cough and fatigue, combined with a fall from his horse, proved fatal. He was reconciled with Betnick at the end and whispered in Dutch for the last time as they shook hands. (laughs) ¶¶ 